Okay, let's make a deterministic finite automaton for this language, which is the set of all binary strings, w, where w contains at least three ones, and the number of zeros, it doesn't matter. So how should we approach this one? Let's first focus on the condition to be in the language, which means having at least three ones, and add all of the transitions otherwise later. So at least three ones, that's just a whole bunch of ones in a row. So here's one occurrence of one, here's another occurrence of one, here's another occurrence of one, and then once we have hit right here, at this point we have hit three ones, and we should allow ourselves to have even more than that. So if I read more ones, I should stay in a final state. And we're gonna only have one final state here. Well, think about what this means. If we're at this state and we read a zero, we have already read at least three ones. In fact, three if we took that transition. And so therefore, if we read a zero, that doesn't change this requirement. And so we can amend this guy to be zero comma one. But think about what I said earlier. The number of zeros doesn't matter here. And in fact, does not change the number of ones that we have read. And so if you think about what these states mean, this state says, I have not read any ones yet. This one, we've read exactly one one. This one, we read exactly two ones. And here is at least three. And so therefore, since the number of zeros does not change the number of ones, let's have these be self loops. And so therefore, this is a deterministic finite automaton for all binary strings that have at least three ones in them.